Welcome to Sizzling on the Gridiron. Today I have the pleasure of cooking with Brian Scott, linebacker of the Buffalo Bills. Brian, a pleasure to be cooking with you today. Mike, thanks for having uh, me. We're going to be doing a veal salt and boca. It's going to be some baking time, so we're going to have a little extra time on our hands today. So I hope you're in a talkative mood. I'm all in. All right, well, let's get cooking. All right, let's go. We're going to get started today, Brian, with a little bit of olive oil. All right. Okay. Then we're going to take our veal cutlet, nice thin cut of veal cutlet. We're going to do a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of uh, cracked peppercorns. Just kind of give it a little flavor to the flour a little bit. Okay, now how do you know how much seasoning to, to, to put on it exactly? I'm real lucky. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's all moderate it. amounts. Once you do it, it's just like you when you're doing something for so long, you get the hang of it. Okay, all okay. right. Let's get that in there. Now we got that. Now this is going to take a little while, like I said. Okay. Uh, behind here, this is our Bordelais sauce, which okay. we used a uh, burgundy reduction, uh -huh. some seasonings, a little bit of Vilio's house sauce, kind of okay. cooked it all down. It takes about four hours to make. So Four hours to make. Yeah, a lot of wow. our flavor is in this sauce. Uh -huh. And with this sauce, this is where you can garnish it up any way you're looking if you wanted to add like mushrooms to the sauce, artichoke right. hearts, you know, whatever you choose. Okay, right here. Wow, that cooks really fast. Oh, it's still got a little <laughs> ways to go. <laughs> We're actually going to want to bake the dish in the oven a little bit because we're going to be putting some prosciutto over the top of the veal and then some provolone cheese over the top. Okay. And then we're going to let that bake in together so the flavors are all kind of getting that, that flavor from prosciutto baking in and the provolone uh -huh. golden brown on the top. So it'll take a little bit in the oven, but we got time, right? It's TV. Yeah, of course, right? <laughs> all right. Hold on one Whoa, second. Let me just finish this here. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Let me just fit in here. We can get this in the oven and roll in. Thin sliced on the prosciutto, always thin sliced. Now, did you slice that yourself? Oh yeah, got up real early this morning. <laughs> I'm gonna pop it into the oven, give it about 10, 15 minutes, and it should be good. All right, now, <laughs> let me hear your spiel, let's go. <laughs> sing it loud, sing it proud, <laughs> what do you got? Well, I do have a foundation, it's called the Pick Your Passion Foundation for the Arts. Now you nice. sing too. I do sing a little bit, yes, yeah. I do, I do. Actually, uh, last year, I released a single. It's called Dedicated. You can find it on iTunes. Yeah, Dedicated. so um, it's called Dedicated, and um, it was written and produced by myself and my brother. So uh, if you get a minute, check it out. Wow, tell I him, will. Tell what you think. Writer and producer, too. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, and plays professional football. Oh, oh, <laughs> on no. the side. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. nice. That is awesome. Good to hear. Good to hear. Hey, earlier today, I saw you uh, getting a tour of Artisan Kitchens with uh, Adam Getz from Sample. Uh, what do you guys got going on? Yeah, we have an event coming up in eight days. Why don't you take a look? So, Brian, here's where the event's going to be yep. held December 10th. This is uh, Artisan Kitchen and Bath, uh, old stove factory that they've remodeled and turned it into this amazing space. We've done a lot of events here and they have three functioning kitchens that we're gonna hold a mm -hmm. cooking competition. Okay. It's gonna be three local chefs from local restaurants, right. a handful of your teammates. Yes. And the kicker is gonna be that then we're gonna have a drawing and some of the people who are attending are gonna be able to go in there and have this Nickel City Chef cooking experience. They're gonna use a local nice. ingredient, have one hour to produce a specialty cocktail uh -huh, uh -huh. and an appetizer. And then everyone in the audience is going to be able to taste it. Uh -huh. They're going to vote, vote and we'll, uh, we'll announce a winner. This place is beautiful. I I'm sure we're going to have a great evening. We're going to have a bar. We're going to have pasta hors d'oeuvres, stationary uh -huh. hors d'oeuvres, plenty of food for everyone to eat. And then you were talking, you were going to have some of your friends come and play some tunes yeah, also, right? Yeah, a local jazz band that'll be here. So live music. Uh, I know there will be a silent auction going on. So uh, we're, we're really looking forward to it. So you know better than I do. How can people get tickets to come to this event? Yes, well, it, it's very easy. If you go to my foundation website, it's www.teambscott.com. And you can go on there, find out more information about the fundraiser. And we're, we're raising money for an art venture program, which essentially takes local children here in Buffalo and, and exposes them to the arts. Oh, sounds like a great event, and uh, I'm honored to be able to help you support. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. 